In today's video, we take a look at a man who left his girlfriend after she forced him to pay the entire bill for her friends. And this woman here, who wants women to leave their relationships even if the man is trying his best. But before we jump in, please make sure to subscribe the channel and turn on the bell notification. It is okay if you decide that when someone says that they are trying their best, that they are trying their best to support you, that they are trying their best to show up for you, that they are just trying their best. It is okay if you decide that that is not enough for you. That is something that you 310% can decide for yourself. Primarily as women, I'm gonna speak as a woman, from my experience, we are constantly told, he's trying his best. He's doing his best, they are doing, cut him some slack, show him some grace, keep trying, stick it out, toughen up. You know, you're asking for too much, you're demanding too much, all, we're told all of these things. But if your needs, if your needs are not being met for an extended period of time, for any period of time, you get to make the decision as to whether or not you think that that is sufficient, whether that is good enough for you. Yeah, women do get the choice to leave the man high and dry for any reason. But that's only because you guys want the moon from every guy, while most of you aren't even worth a second look. Or whether you say, I really appreciate that you are trying your best, but I need more. I need more. And as women, you know, we, we are told that we can't ask for more. You know, we have to be all of the things, but you can demand more and you are worthy of more. And if someone is just not giving you and not meeting those needs, it is okay, regardless of whether they're trying their best or not. It is okay to say, I appreciate that effort, but I need more. Done. It does not make you a fucking asshole. It does not make you rude. It does not make you insensitive. It does not make you a bitch. It makes you human because your needs are worthy of being met. If men started to act on this woman's advice, then most women would be left single and miserable their entire life, and no one deserves anything. Everything in this world is earned, but she won't be able to understand it. And in this clip, we see a woman demanding her ridiculous needs from a man and ending up single. A man dumped his girlfriend after she expected him to pay for her entire birthday dinner with all of her friends. He posted to Reddit explaining that he booked a table at a nice restaurant to celebrate his girlfriend's 24th birthday with some of her friends. He admitted to making quite a bit more money than his girlfriend covering the rent and utilities for their apartment. While at the restaurant, he noticed that his girlfriend and her friends were ordering some of the most expensive things on the menu. But he didn't think too much about it, figuring he would cover the cost of his and his girlfriend's meals while her friends paid for themselves. At the end of the meal, the waiter asked him if he would like to split the bill, and he said yes. The bill came out to a total of $1,185. The faces of his girlfriend's friends dropped as soon as they realized they'd have to pay for their own meals. His girlfriend then gave him the silent treatment for a full week after her birthday. He assumed that him not paying might be the reason, but he refused to believe she would be that shallow. She did eventually tell him that he had embarrassed her by not paying for everyone. Because he was the man and because he organized the event, he was obliged to pay. But if his girlfriend expected him to pay for everyone, she should have made that clear beforehand. When he confronted her again about it, she told him that he needed to transfer the money that her friends had paid for their food, and then she would resume speaking to him. He broke up with her then and there. Just because one partner may earn more, traditionally take on certain roles, it doesn't mean they should automatically bear the financial burden of social events. Instead of assuming, financial expectations should always be discussed and mutually agreed upon. What do you think? Should the boyfriend have paid for the entire birthday meal? Absolutely not. It was her birthday. She should have been the one to foot the entire bill. Instead, she is acting like a mannerless child, and he should have left her sooner because she would have definitely shown signs of her shallow nature even before this incident. But this one is taking it too far. And then you get women like her asking how to find a husband these days. How does one find a husband these days? I've just had to spend my morning mowing the lawn and clearing up that mess because I don't have a husband to do it. And I'd quite like to find one. It means I could actually put stuff on my top shelves because right now I can't get up there. But problem I keep facing as a woman in her early 30s trying to date is the fact that every single person I come across is basically a man child. Okay, I'm not saying everybody is a man child. 
before all the men of TikTok come at me. I know there are some good eggs out there. But my question is, where do I find them? It definitely doesn't seem to be on the dating apps. And how else do you meet someone? I work remotely. I don't live in central London. Like, where am I going to meet these people? But it does raise one concern. And that concern is, <laughs> is the gent a dying breed? No one should ever date women like you because you don't want a guy for a relationship. You only want him so that you can simplify your life and destroy his, as you would keep demanding more from him and he would be left suffocated in his own life. Too many times now, I've just come across men that don't know how to show any respect to a woman or to anybody else for that matter. They don't care about being polite. They think with a different body part to their brain. And most concerningly, they don't know how to be an adult and they're sure as hell old enough to know. Everybody's different, but I strongly believe that, you know, each party needs to bring something to the table. And it's not fair for a woman to have to do everything. I also strongly believe that there's absolutely no point in being in a relationship if that relationship doesn't make your life better. Whilst I understand there's going to be hardships, if that person does not ultimately make you happier, bring you less stress and just benefit your life, what is it giving you? And I think that's where I'm in this predicament. I'd love to meet someone, but I know that I have a peaceful life now. I love my own space. I have a nice life. I don't want someone's dusty ass son coming to mess it up. So if there are real gents out there, where the hell do I find them? And am I the only one in this predicament? You just listed all the reasons as to why men have walked away from women like you and why they won't ever come back. And before calling men a man-child, take a good look at yourself because you are the one that is crying for help and complaining like a child about how hard your life is. And the thing is, women like you only deserve this and not a man. Body. Why would a 50, 40 year old man be going after a 20 something year old girl without adding any value to her life? So if he's not going to be adding no value, I don't care. Listen, don't fall for the sweet talk. Next call, like, because you're not going to marry him. You can't be marrying a guy that's going to be turning into baby powder in the next 10 years. Okay. Now I want to tap back into younger guys. You see, there's an advantage in dating a guy that's your age. When you date a guy that's your age, it's more about understanding. There's a lot of things you don't have to explain. You get what I'm saying? Like you don't have to explain explain too much to a guy that's your age because he gets it he already knows what's in he knows what's hip so he's not going to really bug you out if you want to hang out with your friends or if you want to do certain things because he understands and when i say a guy your age i mean in that again six to seven eight year range you get what i'm saying like let's say you're 25 you're dating someone that's 30 or you're dating someone that's 27 28 they understand you but the only problem with that is guys that are your age tend to not be stable but in the long term if you're looking to marry someone it's always ideal for you to marry someone that's in the same age range as you or a little bit older maybe a year or two three four five six but when we get to that 10 12 that's a whole different generation you understand what i'm saying yeah when you first get married it's going to be exciting because he's stable he's giving you all the things you want but again it's going to be that lack of understanding that's what tends to happen in a lot of relationships especially if it's a huge age gap when we talk about these things it's all about your preference and what you would like or what you want if i was to advise any girl right now don't ever think about settling down with a guy that's too old if he's 20 25 years older than you you cannot settle down with him at that point he's a sugar daddy in a few years he's gonna be shooting dust i'm sorry